Hello, Mioni here, and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV. This time we're heading into a official developer blog entry on the Lodestone. The link will be provided in the description of the video, go check it out. And the reason I wanted to make a video on this is because they have a sneak peek behind the scenes of this upcoming Starlight Celebration. The uh, event itself for Starlight Celebration is on this Friday, the 15th of December at 12am PST is when that begins. and they go through a few bits and pieces, most notably looking at the new Unorthodox Saint outfit. So the thing that I've noticed when this was first announced, we did a video talking about this outfit. A lot of people said, don't we already have Santa outfits in the game? I think a lot of people are probably a little bit confused. We do have beards and facial hair items in the game, and indeed on the cash shop we have the Starlight Robe, which looks amazing on my character here, as you can see. I thought I'd show off some of these outfits. The Sweet Dream attire as well is another one, which is most notably the one that's probably in the back of your mind. Um, and obviously there are a few other items here and there, and you could certainly argue that all of those are very similar because, well, the colour choice and the Christmas related or starlight related references but my counter argument to that would be we don't actually have a proper Santa Claus or Saint of Nymea outfit in the game at least not something like this so yeah this close-up image they show here features the top half which kind of confirms my suspicion that this won't have a toggle visor command because the beard seems to be this large mass of facial hair connected to a hat a really nice texture on this, at least from what I can tell in the picture, something that we've not seen before. It really does look like Father Christmas kind of outfit rather than just a generic Christmas outfit. And as we scroll down as well, this second picture, which they've shown us before, I believe, it, it definitely looks like you would go ho, 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 rather than, ooh, isn't that cool? I hear Christmas bells. So that's, that's at least in my mind, this hadn't existed in the game prior to this. I'm excited for it regardless. And of course, as they say here, when we scroll down, this is a diable outfit. Now the dual channel die system confirmed for Dawn Trail could probably benefit this even further. Of course, that's not gonna be the case when this outfit comes out this Friday, but as you can see, the main fabric dies there. They've tied that gold and did the gratuity emote, which is amazing, brilliant Santa bling at that point. But it would be really nice in the future to be able to toggle uh, the dies between those different sections, like the fluffy white bits as well, or the black belt. You can also see a better shot there in that die picture of the palm in the back. Yeah, there's nothing as long as that in the game on one of the, the Christmas related hats that we have. And you really see where that beard is connected there. So it's gonna probably not clip too badly with your hair, but the bob, the, the like the palm probably will because of how long that is. But it looks really cool, doesn't it? At least I think so. The other item that they feature here is a day and night shot of the outdoors furnishing, the illuminated topiary chocobo, which is quite cute actually. Um, we have topiary chocobos, we have topiary other items, carbuncles, that sort of stuff. Not so much with lights on them, and uh, this just makes me want everything else that we have to be recreated with lights on it. Fairy lights are fantastic, light sources are great, especially for outdoors uh, items, because a lot of the items they bring out look really good in a day, but we don't have a lot of lit items other than lanterns and things like that. It's very rare that you get like a, a bench with a light attached to it, that sort of stuff. A table with a light attached to it. They've done that more recently with some of the like verandas and things, but less so with things like bushes. So yeah, this is a really cool item. I quite like it. It's cute. It's a sat down chocobo. What's not to love? They also feature this, it says, Additionally, while you're out helping the Starlight volunteer, you may see some familiar faces stopping by to chat. Now, I, for the life of me, can't remember who this fella is. Probably somebody from the Red Mage questline? I mean, the hat kind of gives it away. But, um, yeah, let me know who that is. I'm completely drawing a blank on that today. But yeah, I'm excited for this one, and it was definitely worth looking at this dev blog, especially for some further details, because I've not seen the back of the outfit as something I hadn't seen before with the pom, and of course, um, yeah, better close-up. Much better imagery than was 
first posted on the Lodestone with the announcement. So I'm very excited for Friday. Let me know what you think. If you're happy with the costumes you already have in the game, remember to pick this one up though on Friday, even if you're not that keen on it, because the following year this will be placed on the cash shop for real money, as is the case with previous event items so be sure to be there and if you've got a subscription active on the game definitely pick this up um you'll be able to go and participate in old gridania on friday the december the 15th at x 10.2 y 9.4 as they see here so anyway much love enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you all next time